Many of us believe that radio telephone has appeared quite recently. Indeed, we started to use it for domestic purposes only in the second half of the 60s. However, radio telephony was used for military and diplomatic purposes yet in the first decade of the 20th century. And the author of this information transmission system was a Canadian scientist, Reginald Fassenden. By the time of his invention, he had worked with Edison and Westinghouse and had created the platinite alloy, the one that had replaced platinum in radio tube slits. Fessenden's equipment was a novelty, as he was the first to use the heterodyne signal reception. This type of receiver consists of four parts, circuit generator, heterodyne oscillator, mixer detector and the output unit, headphones. Such system had two advantages over the conventional one. It allowed the, us the user to receive continuous signals and had a significantly higher sensitivity. The transmitter built by Fessenden had a similar but reverse structure. The signal from the generator passed through a fast rotary transducer generating an alternating voltage of 50 kHz, which was first applied to the mixer detector, where a microphone modulated alternating voltage was added to the signal. As a result, in 1906 this equipment was used to transmit voice over a distance for the first time. And although the equipment could not be considered compact or portable, still with its help voice could be transmitted wirelessly and therefore it can be considered the first radio telephone.